Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm really disturbed by this information I just received today. Coach Prime wearing a dress dehumanizing himself. And from what we know, from what I know and what I've been hearing, most of it, the, they want a lot of Native Black American men to dehumanize themselves and sell them soul. And this is one of the rituals is putting on a dress. This has me disturbed, guys. It has me really disturbed. Danced and lifted up the. Kindly, kindly like the video. Kindly make a comment on what do you think about Coach Prime wearing a dress, singing on stage, and then he's going to lift up his dress. Come on, guys. That's got to be all part of a ritual. That's got to be all. That means something. There, he has a dress on. There's no point of him lifting up the front of his dress. That's just vulgar. That's vulgar for a man or a woman to do that. It's just pure vulgar. I'm really disappointed in this guy. Period. Up the front of your skirt. See, the now he just lifted up his, look at that. This guy just lifted up his dress. This, mm, mm, mm. Can't even use the language I really want to use. But this is disgusting. This is really sad, disgusting behavior for any person to do to lift up their dress. And he's, look at, he's, he's singing and proud of it. He's proud of this moment in his life. And then people in the background, they smile and they laugh and they think it's cute for a man to act like this. Or is he a man for acting like this? The audience to see. We have questions is what we're trying to say. We have massive questions, Dion. Now, here's why we can speak like this. And I know there are going to be those in the comment section saying, don't judge. You shouldn't be judging. Don't be judging. Um, too bad. We're going to be doing a lot of judging in the next four minutes. So buckle up, buttercup. Um, when you say that you have always given praise to, to God. There, that comes with a certain expression. Just a second. Deion Sanders says, like this guy just said, he always giving praise to God. I'm asking the question, what God is he serving? What God would want you to walk around and put a dress on? That's the question I'm asking now. What God are you serving? Because Jesus said in the last days, everybody going to be coming in my name saying Jesus here, I'm Jesus, and this and that. So what God are you serving that wants you, a man, to go on stage and sing with a dress on and then pull up your dress? Expression of said faith. And that video does not seem to lend credence to your claim that you are what you call reformed. Oddly enough, though, right after that video, you came back to your full prime form. Do you attribute that to God or the, the dress? Because if we watch track record of multiple people in, in your field of work, I mean entertainment, when they do stuff like that and they come back big and bold, they come back with this renewed vigor and all of a sudden everyone talks about them, but it always seems to be after an event of the kind that you've done. We know we've heard you talk a lot about God lately. And we're not saying you shouldn't. You should always talk about God. That's a very good thing. The real question is which God you're talking about. Because we got we got a, a, a split here in the two things. One, dress like a female, lift in your skirt while saying that you're a full-on believer. And and the two don't they they don't cross, they don't they don't mix, Dion. So for those of you watching. Tell me whether or not we're... And I have to go back to what I've been talking about this football season. Why would Coach Prime allow his son to be sacked and hit so many times? So now, with him wearing a dress, it's starting to make a little sense. His son, he allowed his son to be hit. He allowed the offensive line to do what they did. He allowed that. So now things are starting to make a little sense to me. 
I don't know about you, because I don't want to try to dissuade no one to believe like I believe or think like I think. Because I believe that everyone should be their own individual person. But I'm really disturbed right now about what's going on with Coach Fryman and his dress. And then he have the nerve to pull the dress up. And at the, on the same token, what God is he serving? What God would want a person to put up a dress? What God would want a man to put on a dress and walk around and act like a woman? Or judging or deciphering. Because there, if you're going to put this in front of me and, and tell me this is a Christian, should I believe it? I'm not saying that those of us that speak on this have a clean past. We don't. In fact, we've talked about our unclean past. And what we aim to try and do is to leave it exactly there, the, the past, right? But when you have, you say, this is what you say, Nadion, that you have been reformed since your baseball days. And then long after your baseball days, you come forward with this video. And right after that video, some other things took place that brought you back into the limelight of the social sphere. We got to start questioning whether or not you actually took hold of what faith you thought you did. Because none of the things you've done seem to suggest it. You seem to be chasing money and fame. And again, that's good for you. Do that. But please don't put that as God giving it to you. I know a lot of these athletes and these stars say, I thank, every time they get an award, I thank the Lord for doing this for me. Meanwhile, all their songs talk about twerking and gyrating on a dude and doing all kind of lascivious acts and sex this and sex that and gun this and shooting this man and killing that one. But I thank God for this award, man. He gave me so much. I thank the Jesus Christ and hallelujah and all that stuff when they get their award. I think what they mean to say is I thank Baphomet and I thank Satan for all the things he's given me because I sold my soul to him when I was five years. I, that's what you mean to say. That's what they should start saying. I mean, you, you already, some of these people that have sold them souls, I don't see why you still hide behind uh, a God that you don't believe in. If you're going to be like that, be like that. Don't try to fool us. Because that's what you're doing. You're fooling us to making us think one thing and then you're acting another way. Because what you're doing, you're using God as a way to do what you want to do that's, that's, that's completely opposite of what God is teaching. But you're doing it and saying it in God's name like it's right and it's wrong. It's not right or normal for a man to put on a dress. It's not. So, Dion, would you at least be honest about something? If God, the God, is the one you say you serve, can, can you at least acknowledge the fact that that particular video we just saw was inappropriate and it was something that you wish you could undo and take back and it was just wrong on every level? I think if you did that, that would at least prove to us that what that was was a misstep or a lack of judgment. Or a it was not a misstep. It was not a lack of judgment. He did what he wanted to do at that, time, at that particular time in his life according to the inspiration that he had or had. So I'm not going to stand up for what he did is right or wrong. I'm going to stand on what my belief is, and I don't think that a man should be doing that at all period of time are you in a dark spot otherwise we just have to assume the other which is what you were paid to do it and you are promised a certain ending if you did and right now from what we can see all we can tell is that you sold out which now yeah. If a man want to wear a dress, that's his prerogative. That's his business. I don't care what you do. But for me, I don't wear dresses. That's not what I want to do. That's not something that I think is cute. I think it's funny. I don't think so at all. But if some of you guys want to put on a dress and be like, uh, be a Dion, that's on you. That's your prerogative. And that's my, that's my disclosure right now. For some of you guys who want to pull on a dress, that's your business. You do you. But I don't agree with 
that at all. And for me, I don't wear dresses. I'm a man and I act like a man. Which is unfortunate because you have quite the influence. So tell you what, now you don't have to, I'm not saying this is something that you have to, you just would like some confirmation of some sort. Was this a mistake or did you actually sell your soul for money? You know some guys, I don't think it, I don't think it was a mistake. I don't think it, I don't think it was a mistake at all. I think he did what he wanted to do at this particular time in his life. He wanted, he wanted to wear, he wanted to wear a dress and that's what he's doing. He's wearing a dress. He's happy with what he's doing. As for me, I don't do that. But for Dion, he likes wearing dresses. That's his thing. But don't, don't use God's name to do something that's not moral. Don't, do, don't use God's name and then do things that shouldn't, that's not godly. I'm disappointed. I'm highly disappointed. But like I said, if some of y'all want to wear dresses that are not women, that's on you. But for me, I don't do, I don't walk like that. I was born a male, I'ma stay a male. I'ma act like a man, cause that's what I am. And some of you men that want to do other things, that's on you. I have nothing to do with your lifestyle. Thanks guys for hitting the like. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for leaving some comments that are vulgar language free. And with that said, I'm done breaking bread.